right, here we go. We're our back, baby. Hey, listen, we're jumping right into it. Welcome to Effort and Attitude, Volume 4. Listen, control what you can control. And here it is. Today, listen, today, we're talking about the counterpunch, right? The counterpunch. Consequences of the counterpunch. Okay. So, Coach, I hear you, man. What are you talking about? Okay, well, last weekend I saw a UFC octagon fight. One of my ex-players was in it. I have a few players that's in the uh, UFC MMA fighting. And one of the things that I realized in, in the in the midst of watching one of my guys fight is he knew a punch was coming, but he was killing them on the counter punch, right? And so it got me thinking like, wow, like when you're in a battle, you have to anticipate getting hit. You cannot think that you are in this battle and nothing's, everything's going to be peaches and cream. That's just not reality. When you sign up for a battle, a true battle, whatever that battle may be, it may be a new job, it may be a new relationship, it may be to heal a relationship, maybe to heal the relationship between you and your father, you and your brother, who knows, it, you know, but it's about the counter, and you cannot, you cannot counter if you are not willing to get hit, period, you just can't, because here's what I'm watching, it. and look, I, I'm no boxer, I, look, I'm not even I'm not even gonna pretend. That's not even my cup of tea. But what I do know about counter punching is that if you sign up for a battle, right, you gotta anticipate getting hit. And if you are anticipating getting hit and you are okay with getting hit, the beauty about you getting hit, you'll have a counter to deliver along with the punch that you are going to take. Now, are you gonna take this punch and coward? Are you gonna flinch? Because here's the thing. When my guy took his punch, he was wide-eyed. He didn't have any blink because he knew his moment was going to come if he could absorb this punch. He absorbed it, and simultaneously, as he's getting hit, he's firing his punch, right? So almost like the old Rocky saying they bounce and bounce, and then they both throw a punch. Well, my guy got hit first, and as he was getting hit, he stood firm, took it, he ate it. Now listen, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, look, this guy that I'm talking about, my man Mike Lombardo, shout out Mike Lombardo. Look, he's a hard dude. But here's the thing. You have to be hard in your own battles, in your own journey. You don't have to be in the MMA or UFC or the Octagon to be battle tested and battle approved. And to hold your ground, to absorb the punch of your battle and counter. Bang, right? The consequences of a, of a counter comes with the punch. The consequences are clear, right? You are gonna get hit, but stand firm. Stand firm so you can throw your punch back. Stand firm, eat it. Bang, right? So here's the other part. Here's the other part about the counter punch and the consequences of the counter punch, okay? With opportunity to counter, with opportunity to counter, you will leave yourself open as well. So you also have to understand, some people may be able to eat the same punch that you got to eat, and they're going to counter your punch. So don't get upset because you ate the punch and you countered it and he didn't fall. Don't get upset that the battle was still going. Some battles go until the battle is done. And sometimes the battle is done based on who's willing to quit first. Unlike Unlike football, it's four quarters. The battle of life doesn't have quarters. The battle of life doesn't have an all season. You have to be on all the time, dog. So I encourage every athlete, every teacher, all of my ex-players, current players, hey, there are consequences to the counter, but there's a beautiful thing when you land your punch because you know I ate it and I gave it back. Now, here's the thing. When you give it back, can you take another one and give it back? So now, straight up, can you... Can you exchange blows with your battle? That's the point of it. It's a consequence of a counter, and that's getting hit. But in order to counter, you got to stand firm, right? You got to eat the punch. You got to eat it. Right? You got to eat the punch. And last but not least, you got to anticipate this guy eating your punch and countering. So what am I saying? Keep fighting. That's what I'm saying. Hey, listen, until next time, control what you can control. That's your effort and your attitude. Peace.